Hi, I'm Siobhan. Uh, I'm part of the Clever Microbes team and I'm my second year of PhD in the Theoretical Systems Biology group at Imperial College London. Um, that would have to be in kindergarten. I remember the teachers uh, each giving us a bean and telling us to place it in a glass jar with some cotton wool. And uh, we would add some water and each day we would check the progress of the bean and we would compete and see whose bean was growing faster and we were all really excited when the first leaves appeared. It was all very fascinating at the time. I don't think there is a single event that inspired me to become a scientist. I think by the end of high school I was just as confused as everyone else, but I thought about how much I enjoyed learning about science and about the first time I learned about Mendelian genetics, the existence of a phenotype and a genotype, and just my curiosity in general uh, led me to choose a degree in molecular genetics. I don't think there is a stereotype to being a scientist, but I think there are certain aspects that are common. Uh, it's definitely challenging and thought provoking because your purpose is to answer questions that have not been answered before and so essentially you're creating new knowledge and the fact that your research evolves based on the results you achieve keeps it interesting and exciting and each new result is just so gratifying it's really it's good i think i do what every normal person in their 20s does in their free time um, I relax, I do some sports, I catch up with friends, family. Um, I'm also a subordinate in halls, which um, takes up a lot of my time, but also allows me to live in South Kensington near uh, some really nice museums. So when I have some free time, I'll pop in there. Um, but all of this wouldn't be possible if not but the fact that I get to manage my own time. So. A career in science and in research gives you this benefit that is not to be underestimated.